You guys, I just went thrifting at just a little thrift store that's near me and no name with reasonable prices. Hi you guys, welcome to this week's video. It is chock full of DIYs, a furniture makeover, and if you've been following along with me, a long awaited room reveal. I was inspired by things I've seen at Michael's and Hobby Lobby lately and thought that I could do it myself. So let's get into it. A no name with reasonable prices. Look at that. It's originally a Hobby Lobby frame. Now I don't need the small but mighty. But So we're going to DIY the inside of it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do to it. DIY these four. The office makeover. Very cool. All right. So I ended up finding that sign at Hobby Lobby and it said, no, actually, sorry, Michael's. I found it at Michael's and it looked really cool. It had 3D aspect to it and I liked that. So I went to Hobby Lobby, got some of that cardstock, those letters and of course I'm using my all-time favorite DIY paint in old school and I am just creating texture on top of the letters. I, if you've been following along with me for a while you know this about me already <laughs> but I like things that are a little different so I liked like I just said the 3D aspect to this sign how the letters stuck out. So I'm attaching the cardstock with Gorilla Glue, putting that down, and then I get to be a little creative. using aviary right here in the DIY and old school you're gonna see me use these two colors a lot in different ways um, it's a theme I felt like I picked those two colors and it's a theme running right through the whole makeover so I have a photo of the sign that I'm recreating and you guys I'm just going in with a tiny brush dipping it in the paint, dipping it in the water to get the watery kind of effect and I am just copying what the sign I am copying the sign that I saw and putting my own touch to it I guess but sticking pretty closely to what inspired me I'm a fairly good copier but um, coming up with something original is a little more difficult for me <laughs> so I am sticking really close to my inspiration I'm going to mention it right here because like I said, I use DIY paint throughout this whole makeover. DIY paint is my favorite. It is an all natural clay and chalk based paint. The pigments in it, you guys, are so, it well, it's so pigmented that a little goes a long way. And the colors and the range that Debbie has in it are just beautiful. I am an affiliate partner for Debbie, I have a link below that if you click on that link and you follow it over to her website, it lets her know that you've been watching one of my videos and you want to give her paint a try and I get a commission from that sale at no extra cost to you. So if you happen to follow that link and you think, oh, I'll come back to it later, make sure you come back to my video, click on the link again and follow it back and uh, buy some of her beautiful paint.
Okay, I am, I've had this piece for a really long time. Haven't really touched it or made it over actually. It sat in my house for a little while and I was using it and then I brought it out to the garage with the intent to make it over probably a year ago. <laughs> I felt like this piece was going to go really well in the room, the office that I'm making over. So I'm just fixing it up and gluing it, clamping it, making sure that the joints that have come apart are nice and solid. Going in with my surf prep sander and sanding it not right back but I'm sanding it sanding off the top coat so I can get a stained look with the DIY paint. DIY paint in Prairie Grey tip brush painting her on. It's the same colour as weathered wood. Natural, better for you, better for the environment. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Good old DIY paint. Alright, I am going to sand back the flat surfaces. I'm not going to worry about sanding the legs to be honest because DIY paint goes over it. Most things super easy. And there's not a whole lot of shine anyway on the legs, but I'm very happy with that. All right, I'm gonna sand the rest <clears throat> and get on. It's hot in there behind that mask. See how it's starting to dry? No. Let me lift you up a little bit. Okay, wet paint, dry paint. So it's drying, it's drying lighter, but that's okay because when I seal it, she's going to come back to this color. mentioned it a time or two in other videos but I'm trying to get away more and more from oil based stains you guys I very rarely use them anyway and I have a few cans over there but I haven't bought any new in such a long time it's just not easy cleanup you have to lay your rags flat and dry them out or they can catch fire uh, yeah, it's quite, um, <laughs> I don't know, dangerous. <laughs> I don't want to set fire to my workshop and cause damage to my landlord. That would not be great. Okay, so this one I saw yesterday at Hobby Lobby. I saw this and was like, I can make that. I have a round tray at home. The tray at Hobby Lobby was, a, was definitely a lot bigger than this and it was metal. And then on the inside was twine, like hot glued on the inside all the way around till you get to the middle. I can make that. I spray painted it black. $1.25. I got three bundles. I might not need three bundles. I bought this tray when I lived up in New Jersey. I honestly have no idea, but it would not have been more than $5. Honestly, I'm feeling like it was probably around $2. A tray. Pretty 
pretty simple DIY. I'm just taking hot glue and going round and round and round until it meets in the middle. And you guys will see the final of this in the reveal. Okay, my next one. I saw this teeny tiny little plant in Hobby Lobby and it was $27.99 for the plant. So <laughs> I went over to the artificial plant section and or artificial flower section and I got a little branch for $6.99, went out into my yard, got some sticks and stones and I had this little pot. I mixed up my durum putty with some water and I placed the rocks and the branches in there just so the branches would stand up. Right, just taking branches and going where the wind blows me. Began hot gluing branches, uh, the, began hot gluing the leaves to the branches. Not a hard DIY at all. But it certainly didn't cost me $27.99. And I, I like it a lot better <laughs> than the other one. Okay, inspired by another print that I found at Hobby Lobby, or I found a couple with the dark background, but then sort of just a aged chalky sort of look to it it's a sandy blonde i have already painted the background in this in old school and now i'm taking my sandy blonde and i am just following the picture copying the picture again and it doesn't look exactly like the inspiration, but it's pretty close. Now, if you remember, aviary is the color that I used on the lateral file cabinet makeover last time. And so the aviary and the old school, like I said earlier in the video, appear all throughout the room and it really Maybe. just does tie the room together yeah. there's aviary in this picture and then in the yeah. other picture i did and in some of the other um pieces around the room that i end up uh, finishing giving finishing touches to the room with have aviary and it pulls the room together nicely This was a pot that I got from Goodwill. It's actually a cookie jar and I threw the lid away because um, I don't need it. Sprayed it with my flat spray paint as a primer. And now I'm going to go in with DIY paint in old school and DIY paint in tarnished pearl. Starting with it upside down and I'm going to go dark to light. Okay. Dab, dab, dabbing. Tarnished Pearl is sort of a white, well it is white, white with sort of grey-ish undertones.
Okay, you guys. I am really loving, do you see that? Sort of like marbling color effect on it. Loving that. So this is a good first layer. I'm in my good clothes. Who thinks I'm insane for doing this in my good clothes? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change. I really love this top. Hey. Okay, I changed my shirt. Alright. Here we go. Old school. Going back in with some thick texture. I want to start out by saying thank you to you guys who have joined my membership. I love you guys yes, to pieces. Camilla B, Jax, Kay, Teresa, Kathy, Karim, Susan, Lee, and Terry. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you so much for joining memberships. I am grateful for the, your support in the comments. I am, I am just super grateful for your support. Thank you so much. And really to all of you, you guys, I've been on YouTube now for a few years. It has been quite the journey. You've been through a lot with me if you've been with me from the beginning. And I am just grateful. Thank you so much for the comments and the likes and the encouragement and for sticking with me through all of it. It's through me learning how to do videos. It is, <laughs> I am not technology minded, I've said that before. And so I kind of threw myself in on the deep end when I began creating videos. So it's been a learning curve. So thank yeah. you guys <laughs> for sticking with me and uh, yeah, being on this journey with me. So I'm, I'm very grateful. Messy. In there right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inter Miami versus FC Dallas. At that point, it doesn't matter, and, which is why it makes sense. That he okay. Mm. Aaron, you Canada, have joined Canada. the Little Legend Club. <laughs> you are amazing. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is first thing in the morning, and <laughs> I woke up like an hour ago. I came home to this package. It is a Craig jig pocket hole, their newest jig. It's amazing, amazing. It was on my Amazon wish list. I'm absolutely blown away, Erin. Thank you so much. And not uh, on top of the Craig jig, I also got Craig screws pocket hole jig. I absolutely love it. It made my life so much easier building kitchen cabinets. And mine is the older model. I think I've, that's a couple of years old now. This guy is amazing. It's self-adjusting to the wood that's in there. I, I can't wait to use it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Erin. You are a legend and I so appreciate this gift and your generosity. Oh. Okay, you guys, back to the video. When I was redoing the fireplace and I took the mantle off, I found, hello, I found some old postcards. They have probably been chewed up by mice, to be honest, but it's fine. I've, I've framed it now and I found this frame at the Goodwill for, what is that, $4.99 and it has three spaces which is exactly what I needed for the three postcards that I found behind the mantle. And this frame is a bit knocked up but do you know what, it's okay, $5, it's fine.
lay it on the floor and do like a precise placing of pictures and stuff like that but you know what <laughs> like most things I do I just like to feel it out and see where I want stuff Okay, you guys, do you remember? <laughs> I'm standing right in the way. Do you remember? Okay, if you don't remember, I'm putting it right here. I made over a china hutch that I found. It was baby blue, it was solid oak, it was massive and heavy, and it was a nightmare to make over. To strip it was just, oh my word, insane. Anyway, that was at my house and I wasn't using it. So, ta-da! <laughs> I've moved it here to the office because I felt like it was going with the whole vibe of the place. I'm by no means, I do not confess or say, follow me, I know what I'm doing, because no. Okay, so this guy, right, you guys saw me make it over. It's the tray that I got for, I don't know, a couple of dollars. I'm quite chuffed with that. Nice little knockoff. I'm going to put that there. I got this from Oh, I from a little antique store. I was trying to remember where I got it from. Isn't that cute? Little, it's so fake, obviously. It was only six dollars. Brilliant. Love it. So, like I said, over time I've collected a bunch of things to put in the room. I have donated a lot of my furniture I wasn't using to the room. Here is a look at the before. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. It was a dumping ground somewhere where donated pieces got put and it's storage for other books and things for other parts of the office. And here it is today. It looks very different. Everybody that came through the door remarked how different it looked and how much they loved it. The DIYs were so much fun. I enjoy switching my brain off and just having a go and you know creating something and the fact that it's for the Salvation Army and all the work that they do for other people just made it all the more enjoyable. Here is the lateral filing cabinet, you guys, with the finished pulls on it. Had a laugh in that video, the makeover video. You guys laughed along with me. I'm so glad you enjoyed the fact that I forgot to put the pulls on it. But here it is, and it looks much better complete now.
Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed, it was such a long journey, I have to tell you, this makeover, but I really enjoyed getting to do this for them. And I hope that you guys were inspired and enjoyed the DIYs. Look at things a little differently and think, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna have a go and DIY that instead of paying retail, maybe I could find something in a thrift store and make it over and it looks similar to something, a high-end piece that you are inspired by. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy binge watching a couple more. I love you guys to bits. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Yeah.